The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are in Jamaica. They arrived at the Norman Manley International Airport this afternoon. Kalisha Williams was there. A visit marred by controversy. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Prince William and his wife Kate, arrived at the Norman Manley International Airport in Kingston at 2.20 p.m. Tuesday afternoon. Dozens turned up to roll out the red carpet. Among the dignitaries in attendance, Foreign Affairs Minister Kamina Johnson-Smith, Opposition Spokesperson on Foreign Affairs Lisa Hanna, and Chief of Defense Staff Antoinette Weems-Gorman. First, a ceremonial welcome by the Guard of Honor as the media, both local and international, stood on the sidelines waiting for the perfect photo and video opportunity. Then after about 30 minutes of fanfare, the Duke and Duchess were whisked away. Now this is their first official visit overseas since March 2020 and Jamaica is their second stop and they will be here for two days. Previously they were in Belize after which they will move on to the Bahamas. Now the last senior royal visit to all three countries was Prince Harry in 2012. This occasion marks the Queen's 70th year on the throne, the Platinum Jubilee. Some have argued that the purpose of this visit is to shore up more support for the Queen in countries like Jamaica where she is the head of state. So why did Jamaica welcome them here? We've always been a courteous country and we've always been a respectful country. These are young people who are representing a system that we are looking to perhaps sever ties with. Um, and I believe that we can show some courtesies until that happens. So the leader of the opposition who I'm representing here today has been very clear publicly on why the opposition feels we need to be here, which is you have to be at the table to have dialogue. Do you think they should apologize on behalf of their predecessors? I think Britain at some point needs to apologize. Kalisha Williams, TVJ News.